Turning to Putin's war on Ukraine, Ukraine's foreign minister says his government is aiming to have a peace summit by the end of February and would look like to hold it maybe in the U.N. with Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez as a possible mediator. The news broke yesterday during an interview with the Associated Press. The foreign minister also says he was absolutely satisfied with President Zelensky's visit to the U.S. last week, revealing that the U.S. made a special plan to send the Patriot missiles ready for operational use in the country in less than six months. Well, joining us to discuss is former U.S. ambassador to NATO and former special representative for Ukraine, Kurt Volker. Uh, Kurt, thanks so much for being with us. So is there an end game for Putin with diplomatic talks other than withdrawal and peace? And will that not be viewed, at least in, in his mind, as a total loss? Yeah, uh, I'd say at this stage, there isn't really a diplomatic track. I think both sides are sending signals that, hey, we're willing to talk, but only talk on their terms. Uh, Putin is saying he doesn't even want to negotiate with Ukraine. He wants to negotiate with the U.S. and NATO and make some kind of deal over the Ukrainians' heads. Uh, what the Ukrainians are saying is, look, Russia has to get its forces out. They should stop attacking us, stop killing people, stop committing war crimes, and withdraw. And that's got to be the basis of any peace talks. And that's entirely a legal position as well, Russia committing a crime of aggression which is why they want to embed it even in the U.N. So right now, they're not really saying the same thing at all. Let's take this totally possible scenario. What happens if an American gets killed in Ukraine, uh, let's say a Russian drone strike? Do we get sucked into this war um, with boots on the ground? And even what about NATO's obligations at this point? What if, uh, you know, a citizen of France gets killed? Yeah. Well, there have been citizens of NATO countries killed in Ukraine. Um, they have been volunteers who've gone to fight in the Ukrainian Foreign Legion. They've wanted to help Ukraine defend its independence. Um, but that has not been a direct intervention by any NATO country, not the U.S. And, and not by any NATO allies. So we're sending weapons and Ukrainians are doing the fighting or volunteers from, uh, you know, former military, et cetera, have gone over to help the Ukrainians. But there's, there's no uh, getting sucked into this directly. And in fact, all of the NATO allies have been very clear. They do not want this to be a NATO-Russia conflict, or what, you don't even want it to be seen that way. This is purely about Russia attacking Ukraine and Ukraine defending itself. But those are volunteers. They, they weren't sent there by the government as part of an NGO or, uh, you know, somebody, a military contractor or our own military actually helping uh, but what if right. that scenario happens? It's somebody who didn't raise their hand and they get killed. Yeah, I, I think that's very unlikely. It's certainly possible. You know, we have diplomatic personnel there. We have a defense attache. Uh, so there are some official Americans in Ukraine. And given that Russia is attacking Ukraine, it is entirely conceivable somebody could be killed. Uh, but that being said, it is not anyone's intention in the U.S. or in any NATO ally to have people on the ground. Uh, we are providing weapons, we're providing training, we're, we're handing them over, we're doing the training all outside of Ukraine. And uh, there's a deliberate effort uh, by the administration to avoid that scenario that you're talking about. All right, Ambassador Kurt Volker, let's hope this ends peacefully at some point in the coming months. We appreciate you coming on Newsmax with us. Thank you. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.